Hey guys, it's T here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be talking to you guys about where to start on your personal growth journey. The first thing I did on my personal growth journey was read a book. Yeah, I think just because it gave me more insight of what the journey was going to be like what my mindset needed to change into and then the second thing that i did was buy a journal so buying the journal has been i would say one of the best things that happened to me because i'm a person i think a lot like i overthink i just i just think about anything and everything possible and and having somewhere where i can just get them thoughts out of my head was a perfect thing which was the journal it also allows you to really like see what's going on inside your head because i don't know about you guys but once i start getting in a groove of something i'm just i'm i'm out i'm going 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 until it's time to be done and i think that's what allowed me to really start it to get to know myself just because i'm writing down all these thoughts i'm rereading these and i'm I'm analyzing them and it's just showing me a lot about who I am and like how I'm feeling and then also it's showing me like girl you're over exaggerating or like girl you need to relax or eh, you probably should think about that one again you know what I mean so like it really did open my mind up to really connect with myself number three is find a mentor now I do not have a mentor but I do have people that I can go to who are also on this growth and healing journey and on their spiritual journey oh if even if you can't find a mentor then i say find somebody who's also on that journey i have a best friend who's on the journey and then i have one of my first cousins she is also on her spiritual journey and it's it, it's amazing to have somebody like that just because like you can have someone in your life but they won't understand you like if like they will not understand you let's just put it like they will not understand you like things you want to talk about things you want to get like deep into like they won't understand that and and some people don't want to understand that if you know what I mean so having somebody that you can really talk to about these things is going to help tremendously like tremendous it just feels so freaking good to like have that to have that connection with someone and they understand what's going on with you too the next step is I stop comparing myself. I only did this for a, a little bit, like a small period of time. I'm not kidding because I'm not a person who goes around analyzing other people's lives. That's just not who I am. I, I never really was into that because you just never know what, you never know what people go through to get to where they are or what they are going through where they are. You know what I mean? So like, trying to compare myself to others is just something that i just never took a king to i think i did that like i said i did it for one period of time getting on social media and i'm like seeing people who i graduated with and i'm like they're doing with this doing this and do and then i was like you know what <laughs> once i got out of that once i started my journey after my first like growth spiritual self-development book i read I, I stopped comparing myself to others, okay? Because that's just, it doesn't help, okay? And like I said, the first time I did it, it was absolutely terrible. Honestly, I don't know how people do that. And I think that's another thing where the self-worth, self-esteem, self, just all the self stuff comes into play because, how can I explain this? So you know how like when people get on social media, like say people got on Instagram and they're like seeing these people with like these crazy bodies like these amazing beautiful bodies and they're like I want that body I get on social media and I look at these bodies I'm saying oh my gosh like they look so freaking good but I never got on social media was like I want my body to look like that I want my body to look like this you know what I mean I've never done that that's just not something I do don't get me wrong there are certain things where I'm just like hmm but that's not because I'm comparing myself to others it's more so because it's something that that's just something within me like I have no boobies you know, I have no boobs at all. It's like, well, I would like some boobs. I would like to look a little more feminine. I would like to look a little more older. Yeah, so like, I have no boobs. I still look like I'm freaking 15 years old and I'm in my late 20s. So when I say like comparing, like I don't, that's what I mean. Like I don't compare myself in that way. Like I can see like a somebody doing like workouts and stuff and they got like this amazing body and I'm like, oh, that's nice. But I'm not like, hmm, I want my body to look like that. And I think that just goes deeper because 
It's more so, how to kind of explain this? I don't do that because the way people are shaped is the way that they are shaped. Like, I have no hips. I know that I would not have hips unless I go and get some surgical, whatever they do, however they get them hips now, unless I go and do that. But I'm fine with not having hips. I'm just, I'm trying to articulate for you guys the, in the best way that I can here. It's, it's a little hard, okay? Because it's kind of like you understand or you don't. The next step in my personal growth journey is goal writing. So I've always been a type of like a goal type of person, but I think once I got on my personal growth journey, it got even like more insane. Like I wrote down every single goal that I wanted. Like before I would just write down like major goals, like graduate, I don't know, graduate college, um, buy a new car, um, save, 20k stuff like that i would like write down but once i got into like this growth journey i realized like even the small things count like even like the small wins count so i started writing down even like to my smallest to the t the smallest of goals say one day i wanted to like um i want to drink like two liters of water then i will write that goal down and when i do achieve that then it's marked off and with these goals, I break them down into like small pieces so I don't get overwhelmed. So for example, I'm going to graduate college. So in order to graduate college, you have to go to classes. So one goal would have been like go to classes every single day. Then the next goal would be like study because you have to study to pass tests to be able to graduate. Just stuff like that. So yeah. So break your large goals down into small goals. The next one is practice gratitude. I cannot explain how important it is to practice gratitude. Like I'm not just saying that, it literally does shift your whole entire mindset. Like when you're in a bad mood, practice gratitude. Cause you just never like, I don't know what it does. It just change your whole mindset of just like life. So practice, practice, practice practice gratitude because literally once you start practicing gratitude even the smallest things count like when i practice gratitude i remember one day i got like so overwhelmed because i'm like damn i'm like so thankful for my fingers like i'm not shitting you like i was like dang i'm literally so thankful for my fingers i'm like so thankful for my mobility i'm so thankful that i can literally just get up out of bed go to the bathroom I can walk downstairs, run upstairs. Like it's it's so many like small things that we just have that we're so used to having that others do not have. So we don't realize the we don't realize the blessing that we have because we have it, if that makes sense. So practicing those small gratitudes will really shift your mindset like insanely. I'm not kidding. Like it's it's amazing. Like I'm so thankful for my freaking teeth. You guys understand y'all don't understand i'm so thankful for my teeth <laughs> my teeth is a, a huge thing for me i remember like having like m nightmares of like my teeth falling out i'm not kidding these small things that we just have literally just be thankful for them like and, and it would change your whole like just it would change your whole mindset which it, it would shift your whole entire life i'm not kidding and the last step is explore creativity. I don't know how much I can express how creativity bring light into your life. Like me, I do something every single day to create something. Like, and that's why I have, I have a few different hobbies. I literally just taught myself how to sew. Like, I'm not, like, y'all see this pillow? Y'all see this pillow? I made this. I'm not yes I look it has a pocket thing on the back yeah so I could take it off and wash it but I made this and you guys don't understand how proud this freaking makes me because I was able to create something that was in my head and bring it to life this creativity is a blessing if you don't have a creative bone in your body you need to go find one I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video and if you're on your personal growth journey I hope it's going well um it is going to be a roller coaster, just like life. It's ups and downs, ups and downs. But when you have them downs, as I said before, practice gratitude because even the smallest thing can be so small to you but so large to someone else. And if you guys ever need to talk to somebody about your personal growth journey, please message me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. I promise you, I will reply. Oh, so you guys, if you need to talk to me about anything, just go ahead and hit me up on there. 
I just want to thank you all for watching this video and I, I really do hope that these tips help someone out there. Thanks for watching. Bye!